I need help. My brakes won't stop. My car won't stop. My brakes aren't working. Sheriff's deputies in Southern Illinois responded to this 911 call from the driver of a runaway vehicle that was traveling about 30 miles per hour. I'm scared. Turn right at the next road, okay? I can't let her cross the road. I can't stop. If you don't turn, you're going to go into a lake. We need you to turn, okay? I just go into the ditch. I don't care at this point. The driver, who was pregnant, said her brakes had stopped working and the car wouldn't slow down. I'm 20 weeks pregnant. I cannot die today. Deputies caught up to the vehicle, then executed a maneuver known as a rolling roadblock. And it's going to be where she's going to run off the end of the road. We're going to have to do something. I'm in front of her One now. deputy pulled in front of the runaway car before slowing down to bring both vehicles to a stop. I'm going to hit the cop! I'm going to hit him! Oh. I didn't mean to, I swear the No, he, they know, stop. hey, ma'am, it's okay, they know. I didn't, I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to! About 1,300 feet from a local lake and with minimal damage to her car. Sheriff Jeff Dietrich said the runaway car likely would have ended up in the water if his deputies hadn't intervened. This is still mind-blowing right now. Lawrence Sandoval and his girlfriend Savannah Irwin can't believe the ordeal their dog Brutus has gone through. He's the family's favorite pet. He's best friends with my kids. This is literally my kid's best friend. Sandoval says he put Brutus in an insulated doghouse Saturday night in the backyard, and Brutus was gone Sunday morning from their backyard in Whiteside, Missouri. Tony James found the dog 20 miles away on Walker Road. He was like kind of limping on the side of the road, and I was like, I got to stop, I got to save him. James didn't know yet that Brutus had been shot once in the chest. James raced the dog to an animal hospital in O'Fallon. When I was driving, I would like look back and check on him, and it looked like he was fading out. And I just pet him like, come on, man, like just hang in there, we're almost there. Someone at the animal hospital made a Facebook post about the found dog on the We Love Troy Facebook page. Sandoval's neighbor saw it and told him his dog was found. That's not something no one wants to hear. When I seen him, I, I went into tears. He has no idea how his dog ended up so far away from home with a gunshot wound. The bullet is actually inside of him still. They said it's better just to leave it inside of him. And he's definitely not himself. After one day in an animal hospital, Brutus was released to go home. Sandoval and his family are grateful for the compassion of Tony James. I'm happy that dumb people actually picked him up and took him to the vet because I don't know what I could have done. I don't know what would have happened if they wouldn't have picked him up. Sandoval hasn't decided whether to report the crime to authorities. He's just glad Brutus is home. He's my, he's my best friend. Remembering Aaliyah Sanong, Laura Splotch has known Leah for about 15 years when their kids became friends in kindergarten. Splotch says it was Leah's kind demeanor and love for the arts that bonded the two women. She was a lover of life. She, she spent a lot of time in the mountains where her mother lived and um, she loved to explore the world. You know, she's, she's a, a great explorer. 60-year-old Leah was an artist. Splotch says she turned that passion into a career as an art teacher, most recently working at Bryant Middle School in Dos Palos. While at the school in mid-October, Splotch says Leah found a bat in her classroom. I don't know if she thought it was dead or what, because it was laying around in her classroom and she was trying to scoop it up and take it outside. She didn't want to harm it. Um, but that's when, you know, when it, I guess when it woke up or saw the light or whatever, it swooped around and bit her and then took off. Splotch says Leah didn't display any rabies symptoms in the days following the attack. But about a month later, Leah fell ill and her daughter took her to the hospital where she was immediately put into a coma. Four days later, on November 22nd, Leah died. It's just devastating to see her in that state with all the machines hooked up and everything. It was, it was pretty upsetting and scary. The Fresno County Department of Public Health says as of now, there is no public threat. To date, there has been um, vaccine administered to both healthcare workers and also the household contacts. Fresno and Merced County Health Departments are still looking into other possible exposures. And as Leah's friends and family mourn her passing, a gift to splotch from her longtime friend now serves as a reminder of her talent and vibrancy for life. It's very um, sweet that she would think of me and put this exact quote on there for me. So it, it meant a lot to me.
that's boarding passes, that's completely different name. Yeah, you know, it's, it's not the same. No, I don't think it's the same. Why? Are you a friend? Well, different now. Yeah. 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 Okay, so right now, I can Amy has friends. Well, that's boarding passes, that's completely different name. Yeah. You know, it's, it's not the same. No, I don't think it's the same. Why? Are you a friend? Well, different now. Okay, so right now, I need to... Amy has friends? Well, that's boarding passes, that's completely different name. You know, it's, it's not the same. No, I don't think it's the same. Why? Are you a friend? Well, different now. Okay, so right now, I need to...